Hi guys, today let's study about the West Flowing River. There are two major West Flowing River system in South India. They are the Narmada and the Tapti. Besides, there are many uh, West Flowing Rivers. Important among them are Mandovi, Luni, Sabarmati, Mahi, Sharavati, the Kali, Netravati and the Periyar Rivers. First, let's discuss about the Narmada River. It is the longest west flowing river in India. It is also known as the lifeline of Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. The river rises from the Amarkantak peak in the Maikala range in Anupur district of Madhya Pradesh. It flows westwards for a distance of 1312 kilometers through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat and drains into Arabian Sea. Narmada river flows westwards in the rift valley between the Vindhya mountain in the north and the Satpura range in the south. The river makes an estuary at Gulf of Kambat. Three important waterfalls in its course they are Daulandar Falls, Kapiladhara Falls and Dharti Falls. In the river estuary there are many small islands in which Aliabet is the largest island. Let's now move on to the tributaries of uh, Narmada River. The important tributaries are Burnar, Banjor, Shar, Sakkar, Dudi and Tawa in the north, Hiran, Horsang, Barna and Kolar from the south. In addition, there are many additional projects. They are Indrasagar, Sardar Saravar, Omkareshwar, Bargi and Maheshwar. Oh, this is all about the river Narmada. Let's move on to the river Tapti. Tapti is also known as Tapi River. It verges from multi tank in the Satpura plateau of Betul district of Madhya Pradesh. It is the second longest of the west flowing peninsula river. It flows westwards between the Satpura range and the Ajanta range. Even Tapti is an estuary river which flows for a distance of 724 kilometers and drains into Arabian Sea, Gulf of Kambat. Purna is an important tributary of Tapti River. Other important tributaries are Betul, Patk, Ganjal, Dadranj, Bokad and Velar from the north, Ambara, Kurshi and Amaravati from the south. This is all about the Tapti river. The next river is the Luni. The Luni rises from the Annasagar situated north of Sambar lake in the Aravali mountains of Rajasthan. It flows to a distance of 450 kilometers towards the southwest and drains into Rana of Kutch. The another west flowing river is Sabarmati. The Sabarmati river rises from the south of Aravali hills of Udaipur district it flows southwards and drains into gulf of Kambay. the next west flowing river is the mahi the river mahi rises near Golyar in madhya pradesh and flows uh, south westwards it drains into gulf of Kambay. the another important west flowing river is uh, the sharavati the river rises in the ambutirtha near tirthahalli in shiomoga district it flows 132 kilometers in Shiomoga and Uttar Kannada district and drains into the Arabian Sea at Vannahar. The river is famous for its 275 meters uh, Jog Falls. The two dams had been constructed across the river uh, Sharavati. One is Lingam, Linganamakki Dam and another is Gerusopa Dam. For dams, you guys will have a separate class uh, regarding the multi-purpose projects okay let's move on to the next river that is the river Kali the river Kali rises from the Supa Taluk and flows to a distance of 161 kilometers and drains into Arabian Sea the famous Supa dam is constructed across the river Kali the next river is Netravati Netravati virgins at Bangra Balige Valley in Kudremuk in Chikmangalur district. This river flows through the famous pilgrimage place Dharmasthala. The Narmada merges with Kumada Dara a river at Upinangadi and drains into Arabian Sea. 
at south of Mangalore city. The famous controversial Ethnohole project is related to this river. The next river is Periyar. It is the most important river of Kerala. It rises from Periyar Lake, flows over a distance of 225 kilometers and drains into Arabian Sea at Ernakulam. The other two rivers which flows uh, towards the westwards in Kerala are Bharat Puya and Pampa River. And the last important west flowing river is Mandovi or Mahadai River. The river has a length of 81 kilometers, of which 35 kilometers in Karnataka, 1 kilometers in uh, Maharashtra, and 45 kilometers in Goa. It originates in the Belagavi district of Karnataka through the streets of Karnataka, Maharashtra and Goa and drains into the Arabian Sea. There is a water dispute between Karnataka and Goa for the water of Mahadai River. In Karnataka, it flows in the districts of Belagavi and Uttar Kannada districts of Karnataka. The Mandovi River forms two important falls. They are Dud Sagar and Varapoa Falls. Oh, this is all about the west flowing river. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.